Hey guys, Coach Barino with you. I'm on the way to Costco, one of those giant warehouse stores. I have some to-do list, you know. <laughs> Wifey prepared the to-do list to buy some stuff, so I'm on the way there. And I noticed something interesting. We go there once in a while. I always take the same route. Like when I go through our neighborhood and when I hit the main highway, I always go the same way. We are all such creatures of habit. You ever notice that? Like, do you ever take the same route somewhere or do you do the same thing over and over, whether it's a morning routine or food or driving or any of that? It's crazy how we go on autopilot. And yes, sometimes that serves us well. Sometimes it's not only important, it's essential. Otherwise, we'd go crazy. You don't have to analyze everything, how you put your socks on or how you take a shower and brush your teeth. But there are times where this autopilot, this, this um, habitual patterns can be a real hindrance. That's the way we've always done it. It's, you know that famous story about the woman cutting the side of the ham? You've heard of it a million times, right? It's in the books, it's everywhere. Mommy, why do we do it? Because that's how grandma used to do it and her mom and all that. So I'm wondering if there are certain patterns that you would like to change, the habits that you just have that no longer bring you closer to your goals, to your dreams, and to your desires. I know I do. Some business, some health. You know, recently I hired a coach. You've heard me talk about it. I have now Nancy kicked my butt so that I work out, I get healthier, I feel better, I have more energy. And there were some habits I had to break. There were some things that I had to change so that I can feel better, I can get healthier. What about your business? What habits do you have in place? And more importantly, how do you change it? Well, step one, of course, is figure out, well, what is no longer serving me? Are you in the place where you feel happy, you feel good, you're prosperous? Or do you want more? Habits would be one of the first things I would evaluate. So evaluate, is this serving me? Is this helping me? Is this getting me closer to where I want to be? Or is it a hindrance? Is it a bad habit I need to change? And then break the habit. Now, the way you do that is at least what works for me is I break other patterns. For example, if I want to make a big change, like when I started the exercise, one of the first things I changed was how I brush my teeth. I wanted to send my brain a message. We're changing something. We're getting out of the rut. We're getting out of certain patterns. I change the way I was brushing my teeth. So start with these little simple things. Take a new route to your office. Take a new route to the grocery store. Do these small changes that will keep your brain on its toes, understanding that there are some changes and shifts. And it will make it easier. Then the next thing you do is start small. What are the small things you can gently introduce that will bring the patterns on that you want? Prospecting. When there was New Year in my yoga studio where I, where I exercise, um, we got a flow, we got a wave of new people who came to the studio. And you know, it happens every year, right? New Year's resolution, they have these good intentions to, to work out, to be healthy, to exercise. But what happens within a month? Most of them leave, most of them are gone. What happens with most of the people who get into real estate? We have over 80% attrition. That's unbelievable. Eight out of 10 real estate agents don't survive year two in the business, according to almost every statistic I've seen. Why is that? Why is it so hard to make it and become successful in this business where there's such demand for professional people, for good agents, for honest, hardworking people like you? Why is it that eight of you who are watching this video will not be in a business 12 months from now? Statistically, now I want you to stay. You're my students, you're my, you're my subscribers, and you're my crowd, you're my, we are a tribe. But why is that? Well, a lot of it has to do with habits. They have still the mentality of an employee. They have a mentality of somebody else must be responsible. Somebody else needs to tell me. Somebody else is in charge. They're not. These patterns of thinking and behavior get them stuck and ultimately cause their failure. So I don't want you to watch this video and just kind of think, oh yeah, that's a great thought. Yeah, I need to make some changes and I have some habits, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's see what's on Facebook. and and you go right back. Really pause and think, what can I change right now? What patterns do I need when you prospect? So going back to these people in the gym, one of the reasons they fail and one of the reasons other agents fail 
is because they take on way too much at first. And yes, it is overwhelming. And yet it is too much. Start easy. You want to start prospecting? You want to start working expired listings? Start with one call a day. You want to go out for sale by owner? Start with one for sale by owner a week. One meeting a week. Can you set that up? Can you just have a five, ten minute conversation with a fistball? Can you have a short conversation with one expired a week? Start easy. Get in a habit of it. Get in an ease of it. And you recognize that A, it's not that hard. B, they're usually pretty nice, friendly people for the most part. And C, it's doable. You know what I mean? You can totally do this. And I know you can. So now, start easy. Number two, stay with it. The going will get tough. It's going to get uncomfortable, it's going to get hard, or it's going to get boring, or it's going to be unpleasant, or you don't feel like doing it. You're not in the mood, or something else gets your attention, or you'd rather be doing other things. Stay with it. Discipline yourself where you say, I, I made a commitment, I'm going to stay with this. And really stay with it. And then start adding. Get a little better, a little better. What I always tell you guys is don't go for perfection. Perfection can kill your business. It can kill your spirit. It can kill your juice, your passion, and your cash flow, the flow of your business. Don't go for perfection. Go for progress. That one little percent a day in the way you communicate, in the way you discipline yourself, in the way you schedule your day, and the way you stick with the schedule, can make a huge difference over just a short period of time. Work on your habits, work on the mindset, work on the behavior. And when there are emotions or thoughts that are getting in the way, the two choices you only have is do it in spite of how you feel or change how you feel. But the option of quitting or not doing it is not an option. Don't ever kid yourself, that's not an option. Quitting. Not really an option. You want to be defeated? No, I don't think so, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching my videos and studying this stuff and trying to get better and figure out how it works and how you can get good at it. Habits, patterns. Big chunk of your success depends on your ability to take control of them, to recognize them, to take control of them, and change those you must change. Does it all make sense? Does that resonate with you? Let me know, okay? Thanks for watching this video. If you're not a subscriber here on YouTube, please do subscribe. I do these videos a lot for you. I, I have stuff with scripts and inspiration and real estate prospecting and all kinds of stuff to help you become a real estate rockstar. Oh, speaking of rock stars, if you're not a member of our group, come join us. It's a really great book on Facebook. Look us up. Real Estate Rockstars Agents. Tons of good people sharing ideas, inspiration, give you answers you're looking for. Thanks again. Make it an awesome day with some new habits. Let's go get them. Coach Borino signing off. I'll talk to you soon.